All right, guys, welcome. Here's what we got today. We got the first episode of a brand new speed run. It's gonna be a regular series uploaded on the Chess Bar YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss an episode. I'll be sacrificing my queen and I'll be doing so in the blitz time control. Three minutes, no increment. I'll be trying to give up my queen for as little material as possible, as fast as possible. So I'll be sacking for the F7 or F2 pawns and if my opponent makes it a little tricky to do so, then I might have to sacrifice my queen for a knight instead. As you will see, even in game one of this entire speed run, it's sometimes a little tricky to get it perfect, but I think you guys will get the gist of it as the speed run goes on and we'll see how high I can get my rating. I've already done one of these speed runs that you should definitely check out on our YouTube channel in bullet, but I decided to test myself even further and see if I could get over 2000 ELO in blitz as well. Enjoy. Okay. No, no, no. This, I mean, I'm done. I, I can't do this speed run. This guy's ridiculous, man. Can someone explain to me how game one is H5? This is ridiculous, no? I can't do the speed run. Who is this guy? There's no chance. What is this? Bro, there's no way. There is no way. How does he know it's me? I have it. My name's KNVB. I'm undercover here. I mean, this is ridiculous. He's going to beat me. Oh, this is rough. This is rough, guys. <laughs> I think he's gonna win. <laughs> I'm not feeling good here. I've been completely countered, aided, outsmarted, everything. It's unplayable. The game's unplayable. I mean, we're dealing with a uh, really serious alpha here. Well, it was a good run. I'm pretty sure we're <laughs> going to lose the first game because this guy is just, he's just too good. Like, you can tell by the way he's playing, he's capable of a dub here. He's a beast. He's a problem. He is a problem. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so easy to counter my entire operation here. Check. Check to you, sir. Jeez. <laughs> this is it. This is barely even a win. If there's a winner here, I think it's, I think it's my opponent. Good Lord. 
That was game number one. If this is what I'm in for, I mean, I'm, in, I'm straight up, I'm in trouble. Also, does does it not feel weird without um, legal moves on? It feels like uh, feels like I'm in a simulation without seeing those like dots uh, appear. Anyone else? That was a little weird. Like like futuristic or something. I felt like I was in analysis board. Yeah, exactly. Actually, yeah, that's what it felt like. It felt like I was in an analysis board. We might need those on. Okay. Solid. S solid. All right. Right after, the most important thing is to take control of the knights in the, in the beginning. Like, knight b5, knight d5, these are the moves that are going to kill you. After knight f3, we'll go for the high percentage move knight here, anticipating bishop e2. That's a very crucial piece to win right off the bat. High percentage play, knight f6. Okay, we lost the piece back already. <laughs> but I still wager that getting that bishop is very key. However, Domingo191971 has put his phone number in there for no reason at all. And it's just styling on me. I think I think we just keep the Do I do I take another pawn? I feel like taking a pawn makes it easier for him to attack me. In all seriousness, if I take one of these pawns, I'm just gonna die down that open file. I don't think I should. <laughs> I'm actually gonna give it to him for free. Yeah, I, I'm scared to take your pawns, dude. Okay, whichever pawn they push, I pretty much have to push the other one. Like, what is this move? What? Hey! Just make a 800 move or something. A blunder or like, I don't know. Stop doing, stop doing all this. What's all this? These moves look really good. No, no, he's coming in with some serious reroutes. I can already tell. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're gonna have to play very aggressive against this guy. We're gonna have to play very aggressive. It's the only chance. Yeah. No, no, you can tell Domingo's vulnerable, but you have to, like, really just come at him. Like, show him who's boss. Big Domingo. Oh. What's it gonna be there, my friend? What's it gonna be? We need, yeah, we need to open things up. Knight takes e5, get get the whole position wide open. We're gonna have some threats, you know, bishop f4, bishop takes c3, bishop takes a1, d4. Domingo won't be able to handle it. We need this rook to go here. Then the very likely blunder of this will occur. Okay. It's acceptable. It's acceptable. We'll tolerate that move. I think d4 is calling my name here. Let's play d4. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's mating himself here. Here, 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 here. And you're telling me that Domingo doesn't get mated. You're really telling me that, huh? It's crazy. Domingo's a legend. A legend of the game. I don't know how he does it. We're gonna have to start with this one. No, don't tell, don't do it to me. Domingo, no. He's going this way, isn't he? 
No, I mean, this guy's crazy. He's very impressive. Check. Dude, Domingo, stop this. We'll have to try to meet him like this. Only chance. Okay, he's only got one move. Ta just tell me he's capable, not capable of this move. Tell me he's not. There's no way. Dude, you're 822. Thank you. Thank you, Domingo. We survived game two. Okay, does anyone want to revise their answers of the first game that you think I'm going to lose? <laughs> does anyone want to revise? Maybe subtract like 800 points from their guess or something? <laughs> we could lose the next game. I could have lost both of these games. Black pieces again. Okay, here we go. No queen h4. So I deserve a piece for my trouble. Go me. Okay, very important. When they have the knight here, gotta take these squares. The move knight b5 is so disturbing. Okay. Yep. We love, we love castling here. We love it. We love it. Yep, that move as well. Yep, oh no, we love all of that. Okay, so this was great. We're up a pawn. Somehow. <laughs> okay, that was mildly successful. I'm still gonna play the same setup. Hey, you saved the rook. What can you say? This guy's priority straight. Take. here in castle maybe we can um, maybe we can bait him I think he's gonna play this move oh wow you played a really good move never mind <laughs> oh, this guy's amazing Bishop e3 is extremely cultured are these guys not just like very good these guys are insane like, these are good fundamentals from uh, my opponents here. I mean, they hang their entire queen. I get it. But once they hang their queen, I think they have good fundamentals. Yeah, knight d1 is also very impressive. I have a feeling something will be blundered here. Yeah, it would be, it would be too much to ask. For him to get out of that position unscathed. Yeah, honestly, you guys have a point. I never really thought about that, but it's possible that all these dudes just watch habits. You know? <laughs> I've created the very thing I dislike. These strong 800s. But that wasn't the goal of the habit series. The goal of the habit series was to take the 800s and improve them to 1,000. Not take the 800s and keep them stuck at 800, but just on roids. That wasn't the goal. <laughs> but that's what it feels like has happened. They're still, everyone's still the same rating, but they're just better now. Maybe he, maybe he started at 600. Yeah, but the thing is, if everyone's watching habits, everyone should just ascend, and then there should be just a lump pile of people at like, you know, 1800 or something. <laughs> everyone's just sitting there. Like some sort of graveyard.
Hello, Kukula. Uh, let's go here. I think we can do something instructive here. We can put our bishop on g3. And the threat of checkmate is going to, you know, it's essentially going to put him in Zugzwang. Like, his rook will be confined to the last rank, which is very pleasant. Yep. You see, he doesn't have any moves. This threat, it's uh, going to be unpleasant. Yeah, just every, just all the pawns. It, it, it's, it is, it is torture. I know, I know it is. You guys have to understand, the 800s are fighting me. Do you remember the first game we played? He played h5 and f6. Don't pretend like I'm the one who fired the first shot, okay? The 800s started this. If you guys weren't here at the start, you just don't understand, okay? They fired the first shot. I'm just getting back. I'm just getting even. It was on after h5. As soon as I saw h5, f6, the entire 800 category is at risk. Okay, let's uh, save some time here, get that pre-move in. Okay, we we'll love that. Yep, <laughs> that's great. That's very good. Now there's some good there's some good vibes here. He plays a nice move, uh, bishop d3 to stop that. Not much can be done. Oh, some quick moves, eh? h3 is annoying. That move often wins material. So the trick is in this opening never to have knights sitting here when they can have pawns that can go like that. Because it means that when a pawn goes here, attacks your knight, either that pawn is gonna get to take your pawn or you're gonna have to take their pawn and there's gonna be an open file one way or another. Or you're gonna lose a piece, which is very bad when you're already down a queen. So if e, like, if e4 was played here, okay, I might take it, but otherwise, if it was played and I couldn't take it, like if the rook was here, I would move my knight away from that square. I wouldn't have it just sitting there. We need to, we're gonna need a move like this, and then we'll initiate the bait. We need moves like this to happen just for our our queen odds here. That's true, I am at a reading where some guys might have just made a new account as well. Wouldn't it be just tragic if I'm doing a queen odds speed run and I run into like Icky doing like a win as fast as possible speed run? That'd be a little awkward. So I hope that doesn't happen. Okay, he's taking a lot of time here. This is great. This is great. I'm already just going to flag him. No problemo. Okay, he's doing a <laughs> time sack speed run. Exactly. Pay attention, guys. I think this right here is a model game that you can copy 
to know how to beat 800s just like this. Beautiful. Allow us to continue. Whoa. Uh huh. Let's take. Uh, you you already know. You just you can tell. Bishop g4 or something. You just you know. You just can tell when people play moves like this. It's telegraphed. Chalk it up, next game, you already know what's gonna happen. They're just, they're just walking right on into it, boy. I think I can probably take this. I mean, it still looks reasonable. We're down a piece, but I wanna get rid of his light square bishops. Something simple. No, 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 none of that. None of that. No bishop before. I don't want any forced trades like that. Rookie one, king b1. I have some important small moves to play here. Yep. I'm gonna need a nice little blunder from you. Okay, he's really sprinting that king, man. He went over here and now he's back. How are we gonna get this guy to blunder? Surely, surely we win his knight. Some f4. B6. Wait, he's actually unreal. I think I think we have to go for this. It's the uh It's the best chance we've got. Surely you take. Right? Mm, no, he's contemplating a little too much. This isn't a good sign. Abort mission. Abort, abort, abort. This is a great move. Very, very good. Um, do we go F5? Let's go F5. This was a really good move by him. But he's gonna need to chill on these good moves. Maybe like a few. That's it. Hmm. Let's take it. Yes. This is this is what we want. Knight takes is great. Rook F1 was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, Rook F1, honestly, he say, I think he saw it all the way through. But yeah, he saw the win. He was like, you know what? It's not gonna, not gonna end well for me. Let's save a minute, a minute of each of our lives. Now, I have said this before, guys. Now, have a look at this, right? This this right here is why a lot of you guys might be like, oh dude, it's unfair. You know, authorized speedrun account of GM on Hamilton, blah, blah, blah. Do you guys realize that you can just write this in your username? You can just write this in your profile and sack your queen. They'll probably resign against you at least half the time. Uh, it's an authorized uh, speedrun account of uh, GM Joe 010 actually. It's actually the authorized speedrun account. <laughs> I'm telling you, you may as well have it in there. You may as well have it in there. That way when you blunder, people would be like, no, 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 I'm gonna end up on YouTube. No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna resign this game. <laughs> but a few people have were predicting my first loss right around here. But it's not gonna happen this game, no chance. This guy's got one connection, one bar connection. He's lagging. Always a great sign. It's 
So knight here, what move will we play? That's a practice. That's a test. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. Knight c3. Correct. A6. Correct. Now, bishop here, very, very high percentage chance of bishop e2. We've seen this before. Okay. <laughs> Didn't quite get it this time. Brzezinski, thanks again, buddy. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Even better. Even better. Perfect. We got the bishop as well. For free. And our knight escapes this time. Oh, this is amazing. How do we want to escape with this knight? Knight f5? That looks like the move. I don't think I want to trade. Whoa, okay, no, no. I think I pissed him off or something. He's coming at me here. Jeez. I got his bishop, and that was the last straw. You can just tell. He's the guy choosing violence right now. We need to make sure we keep this move decently under control. Decently. He's putting together uh, putting together an annoying little setup here. How do we get in there? How do we make it happen? Let's go B5. Maybe some ideas here. Whoa, okay, hang on. G5. Okay, let's ignore it. Takes, we'll get our rook activated. This is okay. We don't have to panic yet. If he moves the knight, we might have knight takes d4. Knight takes d4, queen f2. Does not look like any kind of shenanigan that I want to be a part of. Knight f5, intending knight d4. And for sure we're happy with this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. Very happy to see moves like that. Here, queen there. We can just bring the knight back, so I think it's kind of okay now. Also, I mean, of course, there's a very high chance of queen e3. Um, we just have to hope. Okay, he's getting bailed out by his knight here. A little bit unlucky, honestly speaking. But there's still hope of knight f5, bishop e3. Because you know the guy's big, big long castle energy. Unfortunately, he's walking right into my huge trap here. Bishop e3. We just need him to castle. Remember habits, buddy? Remember habits? No, we got to keep it alive here. Going back. I have no intention of going here. Think of the habits, dude. Here, 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 look. I'll castle. I'll show you how it's done. Eh? No, dude. You're not supposed... Come on, man. You're supposed to copy me. I castled. You're supposed to castle. That's how it works, man. He's not falling for it. Hello to Dr. Lord Mayonnaise. He's too proud to sack the queen. Surely he's too proud. Unbelievable. The guy has no shame. Maybe this one. Catch him off guard. Yep. This move definitely caught him off guard. Didn't take the knight back. Confused him a little bit. That was definitely the play. Yep. Now, now he's in trouble. He's losing all his rooks. This was key to our success here. He's playing some very, very elite moves, honestly.
He is probably very sus, yes. Always promote to a queen. If we don't get reported after that game, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. You just wrong place, wrong time. Hey, you guys are right. He couldn't castle. I didn't even realize that. Maybe he was trying to castle. He just couldn't. He was like, oh, okay, screw it. His king was on E1 for so long that I forgot about it. He couldn't castle. It wasn't possible. The genius of my own queen takes F2 right at the start. He couldn't castle. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean he wasn't trying to castle. But I'm telling you, I would have been stuck there for a good 30 seconds, wondering why Castle wasn't possible. He was ahead of his time, honestly. And it's a, you know, the line is close right now. Okay, we're playing a Canadian here. We love to see the queen getting brought out early because no matter where they put the queen, there's just always that extra chance of like, you know, something going wrong. So how do we want to do this here? I'm thinking of maybe sacking more pawns to uh, get the lads out. Knight here is not great. Could be a bishop here angle. Or sorry, pawn here, bishop here angle. Let's try to mobilize the forces with tempo. Mm-hmm. Interesting. The thing is, my light squared bishop is really important. I have a feeling he's about to blunder that. I'm getting that vibe, so I am going to go here. Okay, Th this guy is, is a game, he's a potential game winner, you know? So we'll first make this threat. Okay, just oil check, you know. Okay, all right, you see it, you know. Way to go. Now, I'd love to make this threat. How can we make it a reality? It's difficult, eh? This doesn't even, you know, I'm not even threatening to do it. I could go bishop g5 here. You know, big, uh, big time move, bishop g5. I think knight f4 is probably the best move. Oh, my opponent just sent me a snooze emoji. Hey, hey, watch your mouth, bro. A snooze emoji. You falling asleep there, brat? Maybe g4. I think it's time for g4. Okay. Maybe we can castle. A nice alpha move. Okay. Check. Check to you, sir. Bishop here. He decides to take. The decision has been made. I just want a castle. I'm a pretty simple dude. You know, I'm considering playing bishop c8. I promise you I am. Hmm. Knight there. It's a relatively good looking move. I think we're going to have to take it and move our king. And the geometry of the position is 
just only somehow, maybe only, potentially, possibly somehow gonna be held, held together here. <laughs> Realistically, probably not. Okay. There's some opportunities here though. We have some checkmate opportunities. Let's say like this. So if I get a rook to the D file, then we know we're gonna have checkmate. So how do we do this nicely? Here and rook there. Yeah, so rook here and mate. That's the vibe. It might give us a check, but it doesn't matter. We'll hide in the corner. And then we'll play rook uh, d1 and uh, deliver a nice mate. Nice. You gotta, you gotta look for the mating patterns. When you're down a queen, it's desperation time, man. Okay. He's defended this, so I kind of had to go start with rook to c1. He's gone here. Let's... Do we just go for it all? What happens here? It's mated, right? Surely he has to be mated. Okay. And... This is the, I'm gonna win your queen, but I'm not actually gonna win your queen. Eight. No, you guys are, you guys are toxic. You want me to send him the snooze emoji now? You guys are toxic. See, it's not me. It's you. Honestly, Bonzilla with a pretty correct take. This guy is 900. We all remember the 800 that threw the first shot. The 900 threw me this news emoji. He has, he has officially ignited things, I think. I think he's officially started things for the 900s. That means the entire 900 category is getting no mercy. The 900s are in trouble. Hey, he started it, man. He started it. Don't forget that. All right. Okay, okay. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Javier! Now, there's a mini game to play here. Mm-hmm. There we go. At least we'll take one of his pawns. I could take this one, but... We've got the vibes here. All right, we'll take this one. From our buddy, Javier. Okay, very, very sus, of course. We got the worst version of this, but we got to stick to the game plan. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we'll uh, throw in a tickle. Just to keep him on his toes. Keep him honest, you know? Keep him honest. You know, Night H2, we're just going right back. Knight moves anywhere, we're just going right back. Yeah, we're just going right back, buddy. Although I could go here. I think knight, knight here is the, the safe choice. Nice little knight d4 move for me. You know, I, I realized that now I can't even I can't even say my moves. This guy's definitely listening. Anyone who plays g3 queen f3? My guy is listening intently. We gotta avoid the trades. Well, at least I know he can't castle now. I learned that from the other game. This pawn is uh, his weakness. We have to watch out. You can tell that my current opponent is playing with a lot of energy. Like, he's very motivated, you know? You can just sense that about him. Okay. 
think we like this in general. You know, getting his dark square bishop here is, is kind of a good thing. Let's go ahead and give this check. So we keep the king in the middle. I think that uh, that's gonna help a lot. Uh-huh. Okay, we're gonna up the tempo of the game here. Just a little bit. Hmm. Keep it simple. Okay, that's what we needed. Something falling here. Here, knight there. We have a check. And yeah, that's okay. I don't really want to take that rook, honestly. Gotta play the high percentage moves here. High percentage moves. Classic desperation sack when it's already too late. Brook takes f4, please. Okay. I'm gonna have to start with this one. Here. Knight d4. Yeah, maybe we will do this. And try to win the queen with uh, rookie one. Push the pawn. Oh, maybe he doesn't see this. That would also be kind of nice. Check. That's a very good move. Trying to go here, desperately. Trying to eke out. A win. Against a guy who definitely knew what was coming. King b3 will make sure to play b4. G to ha Javier. Ha Javier. Ha ha. An impressive game. Although I think his job was made a little easier because he didn't lose his castling privileges. Damn. Except for some reason he ended up moving his king anyway. How are these guys 900? Well, you have to remember, people are gonna look a little bit stronger than they're reading when they're up a queen, right? Like it's, there are more good moves available on the board. <laughs> that being said, I still agree with you. <laughs> a lot of these guys seem very, very strong. All right, man, the, the Brazilians have been very resilient today. Brazilian Brazilians.
Aha. We'll go here. Here we'll throw in the knight g5. <laughs> That's a much better move than pawn takes. No one ever plays that. All right, well, GG well played. It was nice knowing you guys. Take here, at least give me that. Although it doesn't really do anything. Bishop e7 is a strong move. Let's get queenside castle though. Bishop here, castle. Ugh. I think if he moves his rook, I can't take that pawn. Maybe he's concerned about it. I hope he's concerned about it. That would be great. This would not be great. I don't want to be anywhere near this guy when he's playing like this. Get me out of this game. We got a castle this way, right? It's the only, the only square we've got. All right, we'll do this. Bishop here, I'll go there. Yeah, this is a pretty good move as well. Oh my goodness, he's coming out with some bangers. That's a very good move. However, I'm thinking about the only thing that I've got in this position, which is this diagonal. Do I have anything that I can do that involves that diagonal? Can I create anything there? I think he's capable of finding some pretty good moves. I'm gonna start with this just to see what the guy's up to. Okay. Ah, okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good, the long range bishop. It was tough, yeah, it was tough to see. Okay, that's something. Let's go here, maybe rook f1. Okay, some pawns for me. There is hope against Buddy Siddle. Mm -hmm. He can't go here. He can go there, but I'm not sure that it's very helpful. It's hanging now. Rook F1. He plays very, like, yeah, fundamentally solid. <laughs> very annoying. Okay. Let's go here. His queen, by the way, is so nearly trapped here. It really deserves to be trapped. It's, it's truly a shame that it's not. It's just unfair at this point. That should be a trapped queen. What's the mosquito music? Uh, representative of the climate uh, in Brazil. Dude. Sylph. Yeah, I was gonna say, Sylph. Surely you're not repeating, right, bro? We're okay. Sylve is uh, allowing the game to continue. Buddy Sylve. I'd love to take and go here. I just need one more move. Just one more move. And then I'll, I'll have Buddy Silve where I want him. I said I wanted to make something happen on that diagonal. Just let me have this, bro. Let me have this, bro. I don't know, but this is like a, this is a high octane move. I they simply can't deal with moves like this. 
Sylv is finding some absolute bangers right now. Sylv, you're a little too high energy. Still, big Sylv. Give me that pawn. Okay. Okay. We can harbor some winning chances here. We can harbor some hope. Sylph. I mean, what's with these moves, man? Very strong. Bishop takes b3. Played with pizzazz as well. Played with confidence. Are these guys not playing very well? I think they are. If only they were up a queen in every single one of their games, they'd be higher rated. watching this i hope you just enjoyed this episode from my no queen blitz speedrun more of this speedrun is available and is right here click that if you're not subscribed to the channel right up there go get subscribed and guys make sure to click that bell to turn on post notifications so you never miss another chess bra upload